race this afternoon. Again, the IP3 honors are uh, up for grabs. Very hotly contested. And drivers again weaving back and forth. Oh, it looks like some. I got to see a car that was stickers on the tire. So brand new tires for uh, car number 11. That would be the car of Andre Kissel. Andre, a fierce competitor. Pulling out all the stops, paying the, spending the big money for the brand new set of tires for this race. That's car number uh, 702. That's Harry Watson in that uh, Mazda Miata. That's the car that was driven earlier by Tracy Pierce. And Harry's going to have to watch that car because he's going to make his way through the pack in a hurry. The car is certainly faster than a lot of the competitors and should actually be pretty much on the pole, I would have to guess, and say that the uh, car in this field is capable of a pole position. So again, Harry Watson, a driver to watch as he makes his way through the field. Three, the second car on the grid. That would be car Burton Reynolds. Burton again, flying for top honors in IP3. We'll look at some of the other guys in IP3. Daniel Brunt, Jason Nash, Gail Baird. Gail with a new car. She just bought off of our uh, club vice president. Her is being damaged in the last race weekend, so Gail in the car is a little bit unfamiliar. Same car. Also an IP3 is the Lisa Chan, Justin Jones, Scott Lynn, Paul Bunbury, Amir Canny, Norm Burrard, Josh Milano, Kurt Storms, Kelly Canny. Now the green flag flies. It looks like that David Del Monte. Looks like Justin Jones in the car number 24 getting a good start. Test on the inside. Looks like Kurt Storms trying to work his way on the outside of turns. This is going to be interesting. Oh, on the outside of turn one, they go three wide into turn one. They get narrows down, they're gonna have to sort themselves out or otherwise someone's in the dirt. Oh yeah, there's grandma, she's in the dirt. Gail Baird on the outside in uh, turn one. Gets it back on the track, so uh, losing a couple positions. You can feel the cars all bunched up as they go two and three wide for a turn two. Rush hour traffic jam if I've ever seen one.
sort of issue on the course, it's probably in the backside where I can't see it, but I'm, again, I'm scanning the track and I see the safety crew heading down into turn three, so possibly that's the uh, area with the uh, issue. Oh yes, I see a car way off the back of turn three. The car will clear the course, but uh, certainly a, a little bit of an impact area down there. So they've opted to uh, send that safety car out, move that car out of that uh, position. This will bunch up the field though, so we'll have a restart. Again, David Del Monte out in front of that BMW. Dustin Jones with a great start. He uh, managed to work his way as the top positioner for the IP3 cars. Burton Reynolds following him, and then Kurt Sto Storms. So some of the cars still hustling around, trying to catch up to the uh, back end of the field. So again, the uh, safety crew down in the uh, turn three area, pushing that car out of the way. I don't have a number car. base car and they're starting to weave back and forth a little bit uh, trying to keep those tires and brakes warm as the cars slow down certainly well off their pace under this base car situation so again a big field of cars they've got that under control as they get that car into a safe position on turn one our safety crew is certainly being kept busy and if you uh, want to be part of our safety team or turn working with turn marshals out there Happy to have new volunteers all the time. You can't get any better spectating viewpoint than right trackside. Get involved by uh, getting good on our website, Sports Car Club of BC's website, www.saccbc.net. And all the information on the club and volunteering is on the website. You can get in contact. We'll be happy to join you among the ranks of the. Uh, Worker participants here at the Sports Air Club of BC's uh, road racing event. And again, a great turnout of cars, and big fields of cars for our final uh, race weekend of the season. So it's great to see all these competitors out here. Turn one, he just touches the brake, get the pedal up, and he's got 
with Dustin Jones. Oh, there goes Kurt Storm diving on the inside of Dustin Jones. Although he's pinched on the inside coming out, it's now Dustin on the inside of turn two. Kurt relegated back to third in the uh, third position at 9 3 again. I think I want to turn, uh, turn two. Gary Watson to making his way through traffic as well, as well as the Todd Sheeve in the uh, Corvette. He's working his way through traffic as he started near the back. There's our leader going through the Cascade quarters. The Reynolds is still spraying a little bit of fluid. I think it's coming out of the gas filler. And we've got the uh, car of Dustin Jones. Kurt Storm is already on the tail of Dustin, and then there's a little bit of a gap, but it's a
position, David Del Monte is still on the front, but uh, you see Harry Watson now in second. Harry starting a little late in the, in the field and has uh, made his way through. Already roughly half a second faster than David Del Monte and uh, both in the same class. So that is for overall and for class win. Harry's going to look up that last, last time. Uh, Oh, a 15-4 for Harry Watson. He's still he's getting quicker all the time. And a 16-5, pretty consistent for David Del Monte. David, we're running pretty consistently at 16.6, 16.5. Whereas Harry, now that he's uh, cleared that drop, he's got the bit between the teeth. You can see his uh, competitor up in front of him. Oh, my God. 
Andre Kissel, same number on his car. Position 11, a first in the spec man. 